Well, this is a day for short videos, isn't it? I'll do another one now on the Alpha ESS battery app and what you need to set when you first get the system. So when you've designed the system, when you've thought about what you're going to buy and how you're going to use it and how much savings you're going to make, hopefully you've thought about those things all in advance. You will have decided whether you're going to have a strategy for exporting or a strategy for self-consumption. That simply means I've got some solar energy. How am I going to make best use of it? If I consume it, the energy is for free. But if I export it, I might be able to make a profit. So I'll get a credit on my energy bill, which is even better. So in winter, if you haven't got enough solar, you're going to want an AC charge. And if you're on an export strategy, you're going to want an AC charge. You're going to want to charge the battery from the grid at cheap rate and then export as much of your energy as possible. So those settings are quite simple. Here they are. Um, you set up on a particular day what time you want it to start, how long you want it to last. And during that period, the battery will not discharge. It will charge and it will charge until the point that it reaches the parameter you set for how full the battery needs to be. But for when it gets full, if there's some time left until the time in that time schedule you've set, it will still not discharge. It will still import from the grid. It just can't charge anymore because the battery's full to the level that you've configured it to be full at. And there's a very useful parameter there as well for how you can limit the charge rate. So instead of charging at five kilowatts all the time, if you only need to charge at three kilowatts over a five hour period, because you've got a 15 kilowatt hour battery, you could set it to three kilowatts as a maximum. That's a very useful feature to control your charge rates. Discharging is very easy. There's lots of discharge parameters you can set in exactly the same way as setting AC charging. But to be honest, the default with it off is that it will discharge if it's not charging. So that's what we've done. And there's no complications in setting up parameters and time schedules for when you want the battery to discharge and cover the loads of the house, etc. Just leave it off and it does that job by default. The other parameter there is the feed in one. So that's when you want to export from the battery, either trickle feed a little in to help avoid peak rate usage or whether you want to specifically export some at a particular time of day because you're on a tariff, maybe you're on agile outgoing. You want to export at uh, four o'clock to seven o'clock and gain those peak export rates. That's what the feed ins for. All of the rest of the parameters we've left alone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's useful and helpful. It is really simple. That's why we chose this Alpha ESS system.